So Mike, Ross, and I are about to go out. We're gonna do a charter, a private charter, hopefully catch some fish, uh, redfish, speckled trout. I don't even know what we're gonna catch. Let's go find out. So we're here in Clearwater, Florida. We've got a four hour fishing trip ahead. It's myself, Ross, and Mike, and a fishing guide who's local to the area. And we're headed out to do some inshore fishing. And we're gonna try and target some redfish, some speckled trout, and then anything else that kind of goes for our stuff. We're gonna try some cut bait. We're gonna try some live bait, shrimp, pinfish. Let's see what works. Let's go out. So this is the first place we try and it's pretty shallow, maybe three to four feet deep. And each of us has a small weight and a piece of cut bait on it. I think it's pinfish. So either way, we're out there, we're fishing, we're just kind of bait dunking, kind of sitting and waiting. The guide's throwing some chum in the water to try to lure the fish in. We're going for redfish, we're going for speckled trout, or pretty much anything that will go for our stuff. But I do end up catching a redfish right here. But of course, it's not a Seaside Nomad episode if I don't mess up my GoPro. So, when I pressed the GoPro, it ended up going into the uh, picture mode. So you've got some pictures of my redfish, and then uh, here they are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, beautiful redfish. Look at that dot in the back. Boat. In case you can't tell, I love catching redfish. They're called red drum, but most people call them redfish. They're really cool fish, and when you take them out of the water, they're like so mellow. I don't know why, they just kind of freeze up, but then you let them back in and they're fine. Uh, super great fish, strong fight, and uh, a whole lot of fun. So, since that redfish kind of spooked every other fish out of the hole, we moved to a different spot. So, here's the next spot that we tried, and uh, Ross actually hooked onto a black tip shark. So the thing jumped and did a barrel roll and as you can see we're using pretty light gear so it really wasn't catered to that fish so we lost it but uh, it was really cool to see Ross hook onto that fish and watch that shark to do a barrel roll. Here's the next place we try and we're casting live bait towards the mangroves but unfortunately we didn't catch anything here. It looked promising but with the tides and the fish moving you never know. Here's the next spot we try, and uh, it's pretty bumping. I mean, I had to have no audio here because there was just a lot of music in the background. So it's a Saturday, and people are out, and that's great. So it's actually kind of hard to believe, but we are fishing a very popular spot right now. It's right across from a sandbar, and uh, you can actually see that there are snook hiding right at the mangroves. So we're casting live bait at the mangroves, trying to catch those snook. But... We didn't catch any. Four hours goes pretty quick when you're on a boat driving spot to spot. So for the last hour, we drive to one last spot to try to catch some fish. So the gear we're using here is just a hook, a bobber, and a live shrimp. It really doesn't get any more simple than that. That's kind of why I like fishing in Florida. You can catch fish with very simple and cheap gear. Show them face and mouth towards me, the teeth. Oh yeah. All right, send him on his way. Speckled trout, two species in the boat. Oh, I just had a pull. Come on, eat it. There it is. There it is. Me too. Got it. All right. Oh, I got a pin, pin fish. Hey, I'll take it. Another species. Okay, buddy. 
So Mike actually caught a saltwater catfish. So the one thing about these catfish is that their pectoral and dorsal fins have spines that have uh, venomous poison in them. So you got to be careful. Yeah, it's just a little... Oh, that actually might be a troll fish. Oh, that little jack? Game. Yes! Awesome. Sweet, thank you. No grab. Amber jack? Uh, this one's called a jack or lol or a oh. yellowtail jack. A little okay. different. These are like the inshore version of the amber jack. Got it, got it. So, sweet. Yep. Oh, you. And just like that, the four hours was up. Don't forget to tip your guides. So that was pretty fun. We caught a bunch of fish and uh, had a great time. I learned a lot out there. Different types of fishing with baits, cut baits, live bait. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. So guys, like and subscribe. Just do it. Hit those buttons if you want to. And uh, that's it. I'm out. I'm heading back to New Hampshire. Later.